In this lab, I am going to mix several ionic aqueous solutions, as you can see here. Now, I am not going to say the name because your teacher might want you to practice naming, and so I'm just going to list out the symbols. So I have Ki, NaOH, Na2CO3, Na3PO4, AgNO3, PbNO3-2, CuSO4, and MgSO4. And so if you don't have a data table that looks like this, I would recommend that you create one. And I'm going to take two drops of each of these ionic solutions and put them into a single little plate. So for example, I'm going to take two drops of Ki, place it right here, two drops of Ki, all the way across, two drops of NaOH, all the way across. And then two drops of AgNO3, since this is the first column, two drops here, two drops here, all the way down. Same thing with the PbNO3 too, two drops here, all the way down. And then what you'll do is you will pause the video if needed and record your observations. So earlier I said two drops, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do about 10 to 15 drops of each solution only because normally when my students do this, they do it in a shallow well plate and this one has deeper wells. And so just for you to be able to see, I'm gonna add about 10 to 15 drops of each solution. So here's the Ki. So that was the NaOH. Now I'm going to add the Na2CO3. And then lastly, going across the row, Na3PO4. So now that I've added these solutions across. I'm going to take each of these and I'm going to add them to the solutions going down. And then from that point, you're going to record any observations that you notice. So first I'm going to start with AgNO3 and we're going to add all the way down. Next, I'm going to add the PbNO3-2 down this column. Next, I am going to add the CuSO4. Finally, I'm going to add the MgSO4. So here are the results of taking two aqueous solutions and mixing them. In case you have not learned the term for this, notice I took two aqueous solutions and mixed them together and you see it turned cloudy and there are some particles in there, insoluble solids. That insoluble solid is called a precipitate. Some people call it precipitate, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Um, so I'll take a look across with the Ki. And just pause the video if you need to record your data and the colors as best as you can. Next, I'm going to do the NaOH. And then this one. Again, I don't know if it's translating well, but it does look a little bit cloudy. Next I'll look at the NaTCO3 row.
Again, this looks a little cloudy, a little bit milky. And then Na3PO4. So this was the Ki, this is the NaOH, you can see this a little bit better. This was the Na2CO3, and then this was the Na3PO4 row. Well that's it for this lab, if there was anything about this video that you liked, then make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and or subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching. Bye.